Hello everyone. In this blog we are looking at Civil 3D again, specifically for those of you that haven't used Dynamo before. We've already covered one of the Dynamo scripts that we came across, but we would also like to see how can we roll a Dynamo script out across a production line. As per managers or as Dynamo programmers, we'd like to release the, the graphs that we use within our day-to-day -day operations. And as long as we train up the people on the production line on how to use these graphs, we would like them just to be able to play them. So this is the graph that we're looking at. It's a simple graph. It inputs a group of points and a polyline. And then what it does is it aligns the labels for those Kogo points onto a polyline that was created from a alignment or from an alignment. So what we see over here is that provided that the that the users understand that they must choose to copy an alignment and explode that alignment twice and join it back into a polyline then they will be able to run the script that's one of the things we need to do. Join with the other polyline and then move that polyline back onto the alignment. So that's step number one. And step number two is they must understand that if they've got any of these cocoa points that they might have created, right, they should, you know, once you get to know the script, they should be on a specific side of the, of the, uh, of the line if they want to display nicely. Something like that, the leader should kind of look out. Of course, one can refine the script further, spend some time with it and fix all of that up. But important to the process important to the process is that the rotation of all of the labels is reset. Just waiting for civil 3D to respond. So if we have one of those labels and we select all the similar labels and we make sure that the rotation is a zero now we'll be able to run our script however our script is currently opened within dynamo and we don't want the users necessarily to open this dynamo script we just want them to play it just now they change something and then they change it for everyone because they might be running the script off a server so this is called Kogo Label Rotate PS for it's my initials and that is the script that we would like to run. That script is on the desktop under Marie. This is where the file is. And so what we'll do is we'll need to, if that was a server location, that is where we would have to browse to. So the users would go to manage and on the right hand side, instead of opening Dynamo, they would be opening the Dynamo player. And then they could open that folder. And there we can see that those three scripts are now available to us. The one that we are working with is this one over here and we can see some controls. The first is that there's a player in which case we actually run the script so that's like run the script not enter the information. The next one is edit inputs. That's the one that the users must usually use to run the script. You can see we've got a group name and a polyline that they can select and let's just look at this. The last one is the edit. So if we edit that, it will actually open the script within Dynamo or the graph within Dynamo. And how does, how does Dynamo know that something is an input? All right, so here we can see this thing isn't even connected up to the name. Instead, when we prepared or when I prepared this graph, I'd input just 
some text that says copy of all points that is the name that you must use so this is clearly uh, nonsense and if I unfreeze this item you'll see that what makes it an input is that it was told that it is an input all right so that is how you actually say that something should be an input for your graph you make sure it's somewhere the input node you can find it under your basic inputs usually right so this would be something like a string input it's the same type of thing and then somebody's just gone and edited the name to say point group as input something like that and there you can see we can change the name but in essence this is a text box and we can then input that as a name and we tell the player that it must be an input that means that the player will understand that it must input that item and then we've got select polyline and although it says select polyline you will also find that as a selection element so typically if you go and look at select then it will be a select object there's under autocad so 10 to 1 what they are doing over here is an object selection just from autocad that's why it is selecting the autocad entity you can see if we click on help it says select object that's the node type and let's look at that one and we say help and we say it's select polyline okay so it's actually a different one uh, select uh, help select object in the current autodesk autocad dynamo nodes selection so it's autocad and a selection yeah this will be an this will be an select object uh, type okay so <coughs> that is also then defined as an input is input and those two items are now the input and then on the other side we've got the confirmation which is just a sort of a feedback to the user and that confirmation is then the output you can have multiple inputs uh, outputs and that is the way that this graph is put together we now save this graph and we can close the dynamo editor let's go back to the dynamo player right we'll see the file content has changed we'll go back and we'll refresh that and now we can we are ready to edit the inputs we know that our users will be able to edit those inputs so the first thing that we'll need is the name for the groups and we can see that's copy of a space underscore all points okay so we have to input that group name copy of space underscore all points and then we need to select the polyline you can see it's a selection so we can click on select now it's waiting for an input so i've got the selection cycling tool on if I click on top of that polyline and the alignment they're on top of each other so I'll say it's the polyline that I want to select now it's got the required inputs it's got the name of the point group and it's got the polyline object that I've selected and now it is ready to run so we hit the run command run and there we can see without actually opening the graph the user will be able to then use this tool to go and manipulate the labels so in short once you've got a dynamo graph and you want to put it out for your supply chain or, or for your production line to use this is the way to go inputs outputs put it into your folder dynamo player teach the guys how to use it and let them run it until next time enjoy civil 3d and see maybe how dynamo can help you with a little bit of automation in your office bye now